Okay guys, welcome back to the doghouse. I got Lala here, or Lila, I like to call her Lala. What we're gonna do is introduce this little contraption. This is a little training tool that a lot of trainers like to use. I've actually never really used one. I get the concept. I never used it as like an actual training tool for my own dogs. Just like marker training almost. So um, we'll kind of, I'll kind of just show you like how you should use it. We'll kind of talk about that. But here's this. I've got my treats ready. Today's treats I'm trying with Lila is these wellness soft well bites. These are lamb and salmon recipe, grain free of course. So I just wanted something that is easy for her to chew. Big squares like that kinda. And I just basically cut them up into tiny squares. For her, I could probably even go smaller just because. We'll leave them at this and then we'll see. I'll kinda show you the first part of a clicker training basically. But first things first, clicker, treats, lots of them. Okay. Okay, so first things first, we've got our puppy and we've got our clicker and we've got our treats. So now we're gonna do a little clicker loading or treat loading or however, whatever term you wanna use. Basically, it's to show the dog that the clicker noise means a treat. It's the same concept and the idea of using yes as your like marker word. I don't know why, like I've never really used the clicker before in real training, like I said. It is something that is very useful. I, I do agree with that. It's just, I always was used to using my yes, you know, as my, as my uh, as my word so or my marker or you know it's my mark my treat marker I wanted to introduce it to Lila for the beginning of parts of her training just for fun um, because I like to try new things so why not pardon my goofy fluffy pants got tattooed on Monday which was a couple days ago and Anything tight on my skin does not feel good. So what I'm going to do is I've got in one hand the clicker, the other hand a couple of treats. Don't want to do at the same time. This is not a remote. You don't use this as like, you don't put it here. It almost needs to stay out of, it, it doesn't have to, but it, you know, you don't really want it visible per se. So um, she's getting impatient. So we're gonna just mess around with her a little bit. And so in the beginning, Get back in the frame. I'm not going to really give her any, I'm not gonna give her any commands or any kind of anything during the um, beginning of this. I'm just basically getting her to associate the noise with a treat. And the other thing that I've had, I've had to teach myself to be better at is to not do this kind of thing where the, or your arm goes first or at the same time. You want the, and then a treat. Then you move, you almost stay perfectly still. There's obviously a good concept behind clicker training. They use it for wild animals. They can train wild animals to do the craziest of things that are out of the ordinary for, for the wild, for that particular animal. So, there's gotta be a good science behind it. I'm not sure if it helps teach the less focused dog to focus better. I feel like possibly. I had a hard time really teaching Dexter to do a lot, like too much of actual commands. He knows very, very basic. But by the, I mean, with even trying to teach him the simplest things, he was just so, he's so intense. If you've ever met him, you know. Sometimes I'm, I, I thought, I've always thought to myself, maybe if I would have taught him the clicker or if I introduced the clicker to him, that maybe I can start getting his focus better and he wouldn't just be so 100, 110, you know, miles per hour. It's basically, he knows like sit and lay down and stay and stuff like that. And, and I like his stays, but he would probably offer everything he knows all at once just to be just to be crazy. 
So I am gonna, I am treating her for focusing on me, which is one thing. This is again, that's a, it's a good tool to help her learn to focus. And so I'm gonna slow down my treats a tiny bit because I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yep, like you can even count. I've heard um, two seconds. You can go as long as two seconds. I'm also gonna use it to do a little engagement just to kind of keep her engaged. She is usually. She's actually very really good at being engaged on me. Oh, by the way, check out Miss Lala's new harness. Yes. Um, this is a harness I've been trying to, I wanted to try with my Boston's for a while. It's not the cheapest. That one is not expensive, but they have a bigger version um, that I'm gonna get Dexter soon. But it's from, I forget, Gooby. Come here. Silly. Yeah, Gooby, you can see that. Maybe if it'll focus, would you? There it is. So, um, it's really nice and it's light. It's really, it gets hot in Florida, so this is nice and light. The other ones are made from it too. Seems really comfortable. I basically Googled a year ago. It was like, most comfortable dog harness, and that was what I got, and it does feel, wee girl. See, I missed the clicker, but we're both in training here. Good girl. She basically offered that down, which is fine, and that's perfect during the little clicker. I like that she stayed down. This is also almost like free, you can call this a little bit of free shaping that we have here. Um, where she basically, where you basically allow them to offer whatever, you know, offer certain um, actions, different, you know, things that they kind of already know. So they just start to associate. So, Bella. So she got up and engaged. I'm gonna move around and keep come. Good girl. A lot of thing. Let me go back it up just a tiny bit. Good girl. I want her to get closer. Treating her for following it. Girl, sit. So I'll just start throwing in commands just because, um, just kind of give you the idea of when to command, when to click, when to treat, kind of thing. So, come, yeah. sit. Girl. So the click is kind of like the yes, and after your yes, you always want to say the good boy or girl. So we kind of do sit. Yes, good girl. I'm still used to my yes, but you get the point. She don't mind. Lila, come. Sit. Good girl. Lila, sit. Good girl. Still trying to keep myself, kind of slow myself down from treating before or during the click. Down. Good girl. Lila, sit. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Violet, come. Come. Good girl. Yeah. Down. Good girl. She stayed down, so that was nice. Down. And try to say it once. This is, I'm going to start. Clicking her for walking with me. Good girl. With the lure. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Okay. So that's kind of it for her, just because she's so small still, as you can see. Um, I don't really want to fill her belly up with these treats. Um, I'm still soaking her food right now because she's got such teeny tiny little teeth still. Um, so I don't want to use her food right now because it would just be soft, gross stuff that is going to get all up under my nails. So um, I'm going to give her a break and I'm going to try something and I'm going to show you kind of what I'm talking about with Dexter. So I'll be back. Good boy. First of all, there's that. There's the completely annihilating your fingers when you try to, when you try to treat him. Yes, we have I work on taking it easy. Easy. But he really just doesn't like 
Dexter, easy. Which, in training, it's kind of like obnoxious that he does one thing, I have to sit there and like do this to give him one treat, so. Can you come here, sit down? He's literally like coming out of his, down, coming out of his skin right now. Good boy. He's spent. Nope. Spin. Good boy. I recently taught him that a little bit, um, just because it's kind of more his style. So it's something he could easily get down. Spin. Good boy. Just like, he's literally jumping to eat your hand with the treat when you do a lure. Stay. It's gonna be something we're gonna work on to sit pretty, but he doesn't know it yet. Stay. No. Stay. Okay. He's a trick dog, so doing more things like spin, try, try to teach him to roll over. It doesn't see if we can accomplish anything near it. Oh lord. Oh good boy. Any phrase sends him to 100 miles an hour. Okay. Well, my fingers can't shake anymore already from the Pagana. Stay. Sit. Dexter, sit. I, he gives me a down all the time for his sits, but come here. Good boy. Don't destroy my fingers. Okay. All right. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or advice on clicker training, please ask in the comments. I'll be in there to answer, or please, I'll definitely receive any kind of feedback or anything or advice for clicker training. Like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about it. I know the gist of it, and I'm going to just practice with it with Lila and see kind of what it does for her training just to try something new. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.